This is the VOA Special English Economics Report. This year's Consumer Electronics Show opened January 7th in Las Vegas, Nevada. The event is the world's biggest technology trade show. More than 300 companies presented more than 20,000 new products. The goals are to build excitement, make deals, and get good reviews in the media. Industry sales dropped 8% last year during the recession. Gary Shapiro, president of the Consumer Electronics Association, predicted that one area of strong sales this year will be mobile phones. That includes 52 million smartphones expected to be sold in the United States. Smartphones run applications and access the Internet. Google is launching the Nexus One, which it calls a superphone. This is its first attempt to sell its own device. The Nexus One will compete with Apple's popular iPhone. Apple is reportedly about to introduce a new digital tablet. Tablets are easy-to-hold screens that let you read and watch media or search the web. An example is the Amazon Kindle. Like netbooks, tablets cost less than traditional laptop computers. But that can also mean smaller profits for manufacturers and sellers. Companies like Sony and Panasonic are introducing new television sets for watching three-dimensional TV. A 3D TV costs more than $3,000. Americans are expected to buy 4 million of them this year. Sports broadcaster ESPN and the Discovery Channel plan to start their own 3D channels. The Consumer Electronics Show had an area for companies to demonstrate products that save energy, reduce waste, and use recycled materials. Show spokeswoman Jennifer Bemisterfer says the Sustainable Planet Tech Zone was four times bigger than last year. She says manufacturers are increasingly interested in the idea of cradle-to-cradle -cradle technology. That involves thinking about a product's whole lifetime. Interest is also growing in energy management systems for the home and safe driving technologies for the car. These include voice-activated systems that let drivers make calls and send text messages without using their hands. Other products warn drivers if they are falling asleep or in danger of an accident. And that's the VOA Special English Economics Report. To post comments or to send us questions, go to voaspecialenglish.com.